Yo, what's up everyone? Daniel Yuck here. Thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate your time. Today I'm going to bring you all a review on the Bronk Hummingbird Rotary Tattoo Machine. This one specific is going to be the V10 version. I'm going to go ahead and bring you all a review and touch base on as much as I can about this tattoo machine. So by the end of this video, you'll have a good understanding of what's to be expected upon purchasing this specific tattoo machine right here. So as you can see, I'm holding the Bronk Hummingbird Rotary Tattoo Machine. This one is going to be the Volume 10 or V10. And this is what the box looks like. As you can see, it's still wrapped in plastic. I have not unwrapped it. So you all are going to take a first look at this machine with me right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and open it up and let's take a look at what the actual machine looks like. Let's go ahead and look at some cosmetics up close and personal. And then we can kind of go from there. So as you all can see, the box looks really, really nice. This is what it looks like without the plastic. It's actually a very nice box. I like the box a lot. So that's what the box looks like. As you can see, it says Hummingbird Rotary. Now let's go ahead and pull it open and let's see what the machine actually looks like. So this is what it's going to look like upon pulling out the tattoo machine. As you can see, we're greeted with an About Us card. We can go ahead and pause the screen right here and read that. A little uh, quick user guide. We're going to go ahead and freeze it right there as well for you all. Let's go ahead and see what's under their foam. And there it is. This is the Bronk V10 Hummingbird Rotary Machine. So this is the actual pen right here and they hooked us up with an RCA cable as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cable. Save the best for last here. So as you can see, the cable is actually of a quality. This is like a high quality cable. It, it has some weight to it, but the cable itself is of a thickness that, you know, I don't feel like it'll bust easy or pull off or short easily. This is actually a really nice quality cable. I definitely appreciate that. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So you actually have some tools as well. You have some O-rings, uh, some necessary tools, and this is going to be a 3.7 stroke right here so you can actually change the stroke as well which is awesome let's go ahead and take a look at the actual tattoo pen now this is what we've all been waiting for right here right off the bat holding this machine it definitely has some weight to it but it definitely feels balanced like um it's not overly heavy at all but the weight sits right i like that i like that a lot um it definitely feels like of a good quality it doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel flimsy. Um, there's no loose components upon shaking it. You can't really, you know, get any wiggles or anything like that. So right off the bat, I'm definitely feeling that this machine is of quality. Let's go ahead and take a look down here in the little cartridge chamber. That's what it looks like down in there. This is, as you can see, this is an RCA input and it has a click grip as well. And upon clicking, uh, it definitely feels sturdy, it feels stable, it feels reliable. It doesn't feel cheaply made in any way, shape, or form, actually. It does not feel cheap at all. I'm actually really, really liking the way this machine's feeling in my hand right now. Uh, let's go ahead and keep unscrewing. And as you can see, the grip right here comes off. So this could be sterilized. I would just put this in some cavicide, uh, sterilize it with some Super Sani wipes, this as well. Uh, this machine would actually be super easy to clean up. The same approach that I take for my CNC Q2, I could take for this pen style machine as well, which is actually really, really cool. So as you all can see, the grip comes off easily. Um, I didn't have any issues taking it off, as you all saw there. Uh, the grip alone looks of quality. This is what the pen looks like down here under the grip. Let me go ahead and bring you an up close look. And this is what the instructions over here are elaborating on us for. So you can go ahead and do one turn give adjustment. So you can go ahead and change the give 
on this machine you can go ahead and have hard or soft uh, which is actually pretty cool and it just gives you uh, some instructions on the stroke replacement which is what i showed you all in this bag right here um, everything seems pretty straightforward real quick i want to go ahead and show you all how to adjust the one turn give adjustment as you can see h is for hard s is for soft h is pointing this way s is pointing that way right now we are on hard to go ahead and allow it to hit soft just turn this knob like so or actually we were on soft let's say if you want to hit hard adjust it like you saw me there and it's hitting hard go back to soft lock it in like so back to hard like so very very simple very very straightforward also breaking down the tattoo machine is very very easy so you can go and remove the grip like so and then to change out the stroke will be easy this part actually detaches from the body so you would just want to turn it and as you all can see it detaches it's like a locking mechanism as you all can see it locks within those hinges that is this is essentially the motor right here right now we're working with a 3.2 millimeter stroke as you can see and it also came with 3.7 as i showed you all but I just wanted to go ahead and show you what the machine does break down like so into three different pieces. This is the motor, this is the body, and that's the grip. And reassembling is very, very simple. So as you can see in there, there's like an oval shape there. What I typically do is I line up this circle within that oval shape. So as you can see, I'm putting it within that oval and I drop it in like so. And then from that point forward, I just simply twist and push into place and I can feel it lock. Now the tattoo machine is securely locked as you can see and it's intertwined within the locking mechanism. So I'm going to go ahead and put the grip back on as well. And to put the grip back on I just kind of push it in as far as it goes and then I just start screwing on. And then it latches and we're good to go. I'm sure some of you may be asking what the cord looks like up close so let's go ahead and do that for you all. As you can see, this is what the cord looks like up close. Let me go ahead and take off the little twist tie so you all can check it out. Now, this cord is very, it's a long cord. It's not, definitely not short. So it definitely does give you some slack from point A to B upon tattooing. Uh, this is what the ends look like. They are of quality. The cord is not a thin cord uh, like this one, as you can see right here. But as you all can see, this is what the cord looks like up close. Let's go ahead and place it on the machine itself. And that's what it looks like hooking up to the rotary right here. It goes in easily. There's no, you know, war with it. It's just, it is what it is. It goes in straight. It's exactly what it's supposed to be in my opinion. I'm actually really liking this red with the black. I love that. Uh, they have multi colors. Uh, you may want to check those out as well. What I will go ahead and do is put a link in the description below on where this one came from so that way you guys can check it out on your end. So by the end of this video, you'll have a really good idea as to what to expect upon picking up your Bronk Hummingbird Rotary V10 machine. Um, and I'm very excited to get into tattooing with this machine. Right off the bat, it's looking amazing. Um, I have nothing negative to say about it. The RCA was uh, the RCA cable right here. The clipboard cable was quality. Uh, it came with another stroke, a 3.7 stroke wheel, which was amazing. Uh, easily to disassemble, easy to sterilize. I'm definitely giving this machine a five out of five on the build. Uh, just because simplicity, I'm a simple guy. I like to keep everything simple on my end. I think that they definitely hit the machine right on the money with that. I want to go ahead and actually turn the machine on right here and put a needle cart in there so that we can hear it in action. So let's go ahead and do that before we actually cut over to the performance of this machine. As you can see, uh, I'm using a cool needle cart right here and it's going in easily. No issues whatsoever. Let's go ahead and hit the pedal. So I'm not sure if you all can hear the motor working. The motor is super silent. The motor definitely feels powerful. As you can see, it's pushing the needle. We could adjust the needle depth as well as needed. It 
very, very easy. It's not difficult at all to adjust the needle depth. As you can see, it's super simple there. I mean, it's super accurate. Like the adjusting the grip is very accurate. It holds the depth in place for you. It's a very solid machine. I love the red with it. This is a very, very nice color combo here. This is going to be the Bronx Hummingbird Rotary Machine, the Volume 10 version or the V10 version. I want you all to hear it up close. Right now we are running at seven volts. Let's go ahead and push the voltage up while we're running it. Now we're at eight volts. Nine volts. And it's pushing just fine. Even the vibration, it got a little, a uh, little heavier, but the vibration is not bad at all. It's actually really smooth. 9.5, 10 volts, 9.5. Right now we are at five volts and it's pushing like butter. It's pushing like fine, there's no no issues whatsoever in any way shape or form the machine is not getting warm at all either it feels super comfortable in my hand it really does i could definitely see this machine being one of my go-to's just based on the simplicity because i'm a type of tattooist where uh, i want a very reliable powerful but simple machine i want to be able to easily but correctly and effectively sterilize it after each and every tattoo session. So I feel uh, this machine allows me to do that because it's easy to, uh, you know, disassemble, to disinfect and sterilize the grip on its own, as well as the body of the machine. There's not going to be any issues there. So it's a very, very simple machine to go ahead and clean up for any and every tattooist. Um, it is powerful. It feels great. And by the end of this video, you'll go ahead and see the performance on the tattoo that we're going to go ahead and do. I am going to go ahead and do a thorough review on the performance side as well within this video. So again, by the end of this video, you are going to know if you like this machine or not. But right off the bat, guys, it definitely feels great. It definitely feels flawless. Um, it definitely feels of quality. I give it 5 out of 5 for the build. Uh, I definitely give it 5 out of 5 for comfortability. And that's pretty much all that I can say. I want to go ahead and put some time under my belt with this specific tattoo machine. At the end of this video, I have more, you know, some more hours under my belt. So I can give you all a more like uh, in-depth and honest opinion. But off the bat right now, as you all are joining me, we unboxed together. Uh, we first viewed it together. On, at first glance, this machine definitely comes off as a quality. Based on the performance, you know, that's going to go ahead and determine the overall rating and uh, opinion in my opinion for this specific machine but as of now it is definitely a quality machine okay so we did run this machine with a standard power supply but some of you may be asking if it runs with a wireless power supply we're going to go ahead and try that out before we jump into the performance side right here i have a wx2 wireless power supply i have a full video on this one as well for you all we're going to go ahead and test it out and see how well the machine runs with a wireless power supply. And we're going to go ahead and push a Rain 17 round mag. And even the Rain cartridges, as you can see, go in with no problem. It's very easy. There's no like uh, tight, you know, uh, fitting or anything. They just slide in. So let's go ahead and see if the V10 pushes with a wireless power supply. So right now we're pushing at 7.5 volts, as you all can see and it's pushing fine. There's no issues whatsoever. You all can hear it pushing. So let's go ahead and see if we can get down into the lower voltages. So as you can see, we're dropping to five volts. And as you can see, it's pushing at five volts with no problem. This is a 17 round mag and it's pushing. It wasn't a mishap, it pushes at five volts. 
So as you can see, it definitely does work with a wireless power supply. Uh, it works pretty much the exact same way that it did with the standard power supply. It feels the same. Uh, it's not warm at all to the touch. I'm gonna go ahead and again, go on to the performance side. We're gonna run a tattoo with this machine. I'm gonna go ahead and feel throughout the process to see if the machine gets warm. I'm gonna keep an eye out for any adverse behavior upon the tattooing process. We're gonna throw lining at it. We're gonna throw some shading and whatever else that we can practically think of at that time to go ahead and come back and give you all my honest opinion on this specific machine right here. So I'm very excited. I'm very eager to go ahead and begin the tattoo. So let's go ahead and dive over to the time lapse and let's go ahead and see the performance side of this tattoo machine. I wanted to go ahead and cut to a quick little video here and let you all kind of hear the tattoo machine as I'm actually tattooing the tattoo here in action. So let's go ahead and do that here for you all. Maybe I can get, uh, zoom in while I'm tattooing up here for you all so you can get an up close look at it as well. Now, one thing that I do notice about this tattoo machine is that the hit is rather hard. Uh, it does hit hard, but again, I have it on the hard hitting setting. Uh, upon shading, I'll go ahead and switch that over to the soft hit and we can go ahead and see how that hits as well. But I'm actually liking the way this tattoo machine lines. Once you get used to how it specifically lines, um, you know how this specific machine works, I think that you would definitely like this machine. It's not a bad machine at all. It's actually a really good machine. Um, as you saw, the entire tattoo was pretty seamless. I got the majority of these lines over with the one pass. Um, granted, it is getting in tune with the machine. You got to, you know, get used to the machine, how it runs, etc., etc. But overall, this tattoo machine, I'm, I'm loving it. It's pulling these lines gray. It's doing exactly what I needed to do. Uh, I'm excited to check out how it shades. So we're gonna go ahead and get there shortly. But for now, I just wanted to go ahead and cut to a video, let you all kind of hear it and see it in action. I'm gonna switch back over to the time-lapse mode and then we'll go ahead and proceed accordingly.
All right, so the outline is now completed, and as you all can see, it came out great. Let me go ahead and give you an up close look here and focus the camera. The Bronk V10 Hummingbird Rotary Tattoo Machine definitely lines well. I had no issues with lining whatsoever. I do have the one knob adjustment here set to hard, so it was definitely hitting hard. Harder than what I'm typically used to. I use a CNC Q2 and a WE often, and those are softer hitting machines. Compared to this hit, it was a bit harder, which took me about maybe 10 to 15 minutes to adjust to. It wasn't much at all, but as you all could see, the lines came out crisp, they're saturated, they're even, and the entire tattoo came out nice. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to switch this one knob adjustment to the soft side, and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw some shading in here. So that way I can go ahead and come back and give you all my honest review on the Bronx V10 Hummingbird Tattoo Rotary Machine. So without further ado, let's just dive into the shading part and then we'll go ahead and continue from there. Okay, as you all can see, we threw some shading at the Bronx V10 Hummingbird Tattoo Rotary Machine and it did well. I went with a stipple-like approach here with just straight black ink and kind of just maneuvered my way around the rows as you all see here. And it knocked it out the park. I'm very, very happy with the results and with the way that this machine shades. Um, I'm sure that if I used a gray wash, this was straight black. If I use a gray wash with like smooth shading, maybe with a mag, it'll do well as well. Um, Everyone's going to be different, but this was the approach that I chose. It definitely knocked it out the park. It is definitely capable of lining, definitely capable of shading. One last thing that I wanted to throw at it before we go ahead and wrap this video up was some black, uh, packing black. So let's go ahead and pack some black and let's see how it does that. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out packing black. Within this specific tattoo, there's no apparent black that I want to saturate, you know, that's gonna actually demonstrate the packing of black. So we're gonna go ahead and just get an old practice skin here, and then we're gonna go ahead and pack some black into this practice skin. We're gonna zoom in up close, and we're gonna see how it actually packs black. So I'm gonna be using a Rain 17 round mag for this, and the Bronx V10 rotary machine. Right now, I am running at 7.5 volts. Go ahead and see if we can zoom it in here as well. As you all can see, we're getting nice dark saturation there. And this is going to be on the soft give. This is not the hard adjustment. So as you all can see, it's definitely packing black. Um, it's not hard at all. I'm just simply giving it a few passes. I'm not trying to push too hard or anything like that. I'm just doing it in a natural motion and it's packing that black in there. So I would say it definitely packs black with ease here as well. I'm sure the same rule of thumb would apply to color depending on the you know manufacturer, consistency, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But I'm actually liking the way that it packs black. It, it, um, it's doing it just fine. There's nothing, you know, negative that I would say about it. It's very straightforward, it's very simple, and it's doing exactly what it needs to uh, in terms of packing black. I guess while we're here, why don't we try and see how it pushes, you know, bigger needle configurations such as a round shader. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and test out this standard 14 round shader from Rain. And we're going to go ahead and push this configuration, and we're going to see uh, how it pushes, you know, the bigger needle configurations.
Okay, so let's go ahead and try out this 14 round shader here and let's see how the V10 pushes that. Can you all see it? I am running at 7.5 volts and we're pushing on the soft adjustment. That's actually not that bad. It's actually pushing just fine. Um, as you all can see, we're pulling lines like uh, seamlessly with a 14 round shader using the Bronco V10. Oh yeah, it's definitely pushing those easily. As you all can see, it's definitely um, packing that black with the 14 round shaders, definitely pushing it in there. Um, and it definitely does push bigger needle configurations in terms of, you know, round shaders. So this thing could line, this thing could shade, this thing can pack. I think that the Bronc V10 is an all around good machine. My honest opinion on it, would I recommend it to someone? Absolutely. Um, this is a great machine. This is a great machine for any tattoos of any caliber. Whether you're a full-blown professional or you're a beginner, I don't think that would really matter. This is definitely an all-around great machine. It lines well, it packs black, it packs color. As you can see, we can push a bigger needle round, uh, round shader configurations with ease as well, I'll add. It's a great looking machine. It is very easy to maintain, as I stated, to sterilize. I highly recommend it. I do give this machine a five out of five. There was nothing adverse. There was nothing wrong with it. The only negative thing that that I'll have to say if it's negative is that the machine does get a little bit warm but I don't think that's a negative I think that's just a side effect from running a motor consecutively for hours on end some machines do this some machines don't it is what it is but that is the only adverse thing that I can say about this machine is that it got warm everything else um, off the top and I'm trying to be as thorough and honest as I can here there's nothing negative that I would say about it. It is an all around good machine for any and every tattoos of any caliber. Yeah, there you all have it. If there is anything that I didn't touch base on within this video, by all means, feel free to drop it in the comments down below. If you have any specific questions about this specific tattoo machine, please drop it in the comments down below and I'm gonna do my best to assist you in the best possible direction. If you're not, be sure to give me a follow on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok as I do have social medias all under the same name at Daniel Yuck, D-A-N-I-E-L-Y-U-C-K. I appreciate you tuning in this long. Thank you very much. You have a great day.